Hey there planners, today I'm going to be flipping through my Christmas planner and talking about how I get ready, what tools I use to make sure I get all the things done that I need to get done and also enjoy the holly jolly of the season. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. So welcome if you're new here. I'm so glad you've joined us. You are hanging out with a great community of people who love to talk about planning, their planners, all the tools that we use to keep us productive and also functional and decorative planning and how we have fun in our planning systems and getting things accomplished. If that sounds like the tribe that you wanna be hanging out with, I hope that you will consider subscribing and becoming part of the community. For those of you returning, welcome. We're gonna have so much fun today going through how to keep ourselves organized and getting all the things done that need to get done as well as enjoying time with family and friends this holiday season. So this is my my holiday planner. It's the planner that I'm using this November and December. I have, of course, the monthly and weekly, all those normal planning sections, but I also included both a Thanksgiving planner and a Christmas planner section, which has tools that help me get all the things done that I need to get done specific to those holidays. I did a flip through of the Thanksgiving planner, and now I want to do a flip through of the Christmas planner because we are getting down to it. So the first item in my Christmas planner is the countdown. Very similar to what I used with uh, the Thanksgiving planner. I have a Christmas countdown. It actually starts two months out, so I guess I'm behind, <laughs> but I have, just looking over this list of things, I have already been doing these things like, you know, creating an activities calendar, updating the holiday, card list, you know, making a plan for the annual Christmas photo with my family, all of that stuff. I've been doing those things. The way I use the countdown when I am planning the week, because I plan on a weekly basis, when I'm setting up for the week ahead, I will come and flip to these countdown items and make sure that I'm plugging these items into the week that they belong in, the, the week that I'm planning. They become to-dos. So for example, three weeks out, making, mailing the Christmas cards, finalizing the menus, making the shopping list, updating my Christmas playlist, things like that. And you can actually see when I planned the month of December, I've got some of these items plugged in. So for example, mailing the Christmas cards and you know, gift wrapping, baking the Christmas goodies, all of that stuff. I've actually pulled from this these lists and plugged them into my December plans to make sure that I'm getting things done when I need to get done. So this is really a great reference. I do check them off as I get them done. So I'm gonna have to come back and check some things off, which I've already done, but this is really handy. I made pretty much all of the inserts in this planner myself in Canva. I have a whole video uh, that walks through step-by-step -step how I do that. I'll have that listed down in the description box below along with all the supplies that I used. Um, but what I would recommend is build your own countdown. So there are a ton of resources out there. You can look on Pinterest or you can just search on, you know, search for Christmas countdowns or Christmas to-dos, Christmas checklist, things like that. I got a lot of inspiration and then I just sat down and made my own list of things that are specific to me that I know I need to incorporate. You know, we have several family members who come to visit throughout the holiday season. So I knew that needed to be incorporated in here. So I would highly recommend building your own so that it's very customized and tailored to you and then save that list because you can use it over and over again. So I go all the way through two to four days out and then actual Christmas Eve and then I stop there. Similar to what I had for Thanksgiving planning, I have a Christmas supplies list. And this is everything from things that go into the kitchen. So this is kind of like for Christmas cooking, Christmas baking, all of that stuff. I have the supplies listed there. I also have um, dining room supplies, home supplies. So things on home supplies, cozy blankets, breakfast foods, you know, disposable cups, things like that, as well as gift wrapping supplies. Um, and these are things that I may or may not already have in the house, but it's good to have a checklist just to make sure that I'm going through this and I don't realize on Christmas Eve, oh no, I have no AA batteries and Christmas is ruined, right? So you wanna make sure you have your supply list 
already made up and you're thinking about it ahead of time. I left myself plenty of room to add in items and that is as items come to me, but also when I have those moments where I'm like, oh no, I don't have this. That's an item that I wanna come add to this list for next year. So I have that on the list to remember. So that's how, how I will use this. I have some extra space for Christmas supplies as I think of more things. And then I have a blank template for my Christmas card list. And what I'll do is just list out name and address here and then check that off as I'm going. So I like to update this every year. People move, things change, new people come into our lives. Um, so I like to keep an updated list. So I've just got a blank template here to be able to do that in. Next up, I have a Christmas cards received. I really like to keep this list because I like to be able to send folks cards that sent me cards so I like to keep up with who sends cards you know date who it's from and their address so that I can make sure next year I get that added to my Christmas card list so I also have Christmas decor similar to what I did with fall decor. So I like to decorate my house seasonally. I have different decorations, you know, from the mantle and dining room table, stuff like that um, for the fall season as well as for the holiday season. And then even, you know, for um, January, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to fill this out until I am packing away the Christmas decor. And I left myself space to put a location or a room and then list the items there because the other thing I always run into is every year I can't remember where certain things go. <laughs> and I like, I really enjoyed where I placed it last time, but I can't remember where I put it. So this will help me, you know, kind of map out in the living room, here are the items we have. In the dining room, here are the items we have. In the upstairs, here are the items we have. So that's how I plan to use that. And that's two pages. I have a baking plan. I do a lot of Christmas baking. I like to make Christmas goodies and just have them around the house and also to give as gifts or part of gifts. Um, and so I actually have a baking plan, meaning recipe, if it's a make ahead item, and if so, how far ahead can I make it? Um, the time it takes to prep, the cook time, oven temperature and how it's stored. And so I'll just list out all the recipes that I wanna make here. And this really helps me come up with kind of the, the timeline of how I'm going to, you know, bake the Christmas goodies, which goes on the baking schedule. So I'll finish, fill out this first with all the recipes and then use this to populate, you know, what is the goodie, what's the prep time, what's the cook time and how I'm gonna store it. And I'll list it in order um, with when I'm gonna do it. So that's how I use those two in conjunction with each other. I also have the same thing for a cooking plan. So when I do special meals, I have a couple of special meals that I do for um, guests that stay with us during the holiday season. Um, so same thing, I'll list out the recipe um, with if it's a make ahead item and all the time guidance. And then I'll actually, I have a few of those because I have a few different meals that I cook and then I'll actually have the cooking schedule listed here. Um, and then I also have a place for notes on the back. Uh, gift list. So here's where I really start listing out, you know, what gifts, who are they for, what's the item, where do I get it from, and how much is it. Um, this is kind of like a shopping, you know, list that you have to have, especially during the holiday season when you're buying multiple gifts. So I've got um, a couple of those. I also have one specifically for Cyber Monday. I actually take the day off work for Cyber Monday to be able to get most of my Christmas shopping done on Cyber Monday. So the next item I have is stocking stuffers. There are four you know, members of my family. I like to have a list of stocking stuffers. I include myself there too um, because, you know, my family always wants to know little things to get me. Um, they do my stocking, I do theirs. And so um, I like to have my own list there as well. I do like to keep up with what has been given and what's received. And I use this in future years. So this is a really important list to keep because I don't wanna get that person the same gift over and over again. And I have, I have done that before. So it's important to 
keep a gifts given list and then of course a gift received list as well I have Christmas movies to watch it is one of my favorite activities when I'm you know wrapping presents or baking kind of have like a bingo card here of all the Christmas movies we love the most in my household and just checking them off so this is a really fun list to keep um, but I do like to watch all of these movies I would love to hear in the comments below what is your favorite Christmas movie I'll tell you what mine is it's um, not on many people's list but the Muppets version of the Christmas Carol is my absolute favorite Christmas movie. It has to be watched on Christmas Eve. It is my absolute favorite. So um, I could, just talking about it makes me want to bust out in singing all the Muppets songs in that movie. It's my absolute favorite. So I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. What is your favorite Christmas movie? I want to make sure I have a complete list of movies to watch, especially if I have not heard of one. I would love to hear that. All right, Christmas menu. So appetizers, vegetables and sides, other sides, main dishes, desserts. I like to have that written out here and I will actually take this and kind of post it on my refrigerator along with any notes I need. Then I have some items that I pulled from other Christmas planners. And I talked about this when I went through 15 different options for free printable Christmas planners or holiday planners. If you missed that video, I have that listed down in the description box below. Definitely go check that out because this is an example of how I use those. So I pull specific pages that I think are awesome out of those planners to include in my own. I made the rest of, of these, but I do like to use you know ones that are already already made for me as well. This is a holiday budget. I actually loved how simple this was. So it's just the category, the budget, and the actual. Really simple, one page. So I can imagine having like Christmas goodie baking, you know, gifts, family gifts, other gifts, um, decorations, you know, and just keeping a budget and an actual. I think this is really awesome. And it's made, uh, this comes from Homemade Lovely uh, Holiday Planner. Notes, bucket list. Uh, this comes from Org Junkie. I talked about Org Junkie in that free uh, Christmas planner video as well. There's a ton of holiday planners on orgjunkie.com. This is a weekly menu planner. I like this because it's not just about, you know, the day of or the week of Christmas for me. We actually have guests for several weeks throughout December. So having a weekly menu planner for those other weeks is also really important. And when you have guests, it's important to have breakfast and lunches, you know, people need to eat. So I like, I like this template and I actually have a few of those because I know I'm going to need them. Um, notes. I love the notes pages. I tried to pull notes pages from several other planners just because I like them. This comes from Org Junkie as well. It's a grocery list. I think that's really handy. You guys know I love a handwritten grocery list, so I, I really like this just because, you know, it's Christmassy. Um, notes page and um, family traditions. I thought this was really pretty, um, and I like the, you know, being able to just jot down a few things that we like to do just to remind myself and make sure we make space and time for that uh, in the holiday season, some of our family traditions. More notes pages. This is a to-do list from the Scrap Shop blog. Um, I love the Buffalo plaid. Uh, I really like this checklist format, so I included that in here. And then um, this is from a virtuous woman. What do the holidays mean to me and what do I want my family to remember? So a little bit of prompted journaling. Um, I think that's really nice to have in my Christmas planner as well. And then I also have some scripture reading listings from a virtuous woman in here um, and uh, one for fall and one for Christmas. So this could actually work for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So that is my Christmas planner. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I hope you got some ideas from it. I would love to hear your ideas listed down below. How do you plan for the holidays? How do you keep everything organized, but also make that space to be with family, you know, enjoy the time together, enjoy the season and feel the joy uh, that the season is all about. So let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your ideas. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Planet Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.